just kind of like sat in a chair and was just ready to just not really be an active part of the party and just and it wasn't even a party you couldn't even call it a party it was like six seven people or something and nobody was loud it was just like a very chill thing and then at some point one of the people there was like do you know who you remind me of who you look like you look like your movie sucks and at that point, I don't know what to say. And I'm not going to be like, I am. I never say that. I kind of let people figure it out on their own because I don't like to, I don't, I don't like show up places being like, do you know who I am? And I don't show up places being like, hey, I'm a famous YouTuber or whatever. Like I just show up as a normal human being. If somebody recognizes me, they recognize me, right? And so he's like, you look exactly like him, but I know you're not because I know he's from Canada. I'm like, oh, okay. And I kind of just like didn't really follow up on it. But he was, like, way too intrigued, and my boyfriend was kind of, like, enjoying the humor of, like, neither of us telling him that, that, that I knew who they were, or that they knew who I was. And then the conversation kept going, and they're like, wait, like, are you? And they saw my badge. Uh, Pato, fantastic furry artist, drew my badge for me, and it's my horse fursona inside a cool cat costume. <laughs> And they were like, what? And they're like, wait, your name's Adam? And you got a cool cat costume? I'm like, no, no. And they didn't believe it. And I was like, well, like, it's not like I was trying to make them believe it. I was just kind of like, you figured, like, if you believe it's me, that's fine. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're like, no way. And just watching them, like, piece things together over the course of, like, probably 10 minutes of them, like, free. And nobody had internet because <laughs> nobody had cell service or Wi-Fi. So they couldn't look on their phones to like cross-reference a picture. They're like, no way. I don't know what. What? And it was funny because they, like, they might have been a couple. There was two of them. And one of them was like basically as if they were on acid. They weren't. But it was as if they were on acid having this like constant rediscovery of the series of events or like the, the just the fabric of reality around them where like it's not just enough for it to be realized but it it has to be realized again after 10 seconds and it was just this constant loop of like the yms no way and they were like laughing to themselves and they had to like leave to another room and they would like leave to the bathroom and then you would just hear them from the bathroom by themselves going like the YMS. And I don't have interactions like this often at all, really. Like it, it was so funny because my entire month was like, I went to TIFF, which is expected fan interactions because it's a film festival. I went to the Death Grips concert, which I was surprised by, but you know, big event, a lot of people. There were a bunch of fans there and that was like surprising and kind of cool. And then this convention and like the last day of it, this one person <laughs> having like the most like, the person they were with was like embarrassed, very clearly embarrassed. Like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I can't get them to shut up, but you're probably uncomfortable. I was like, this is fun for me. Like, it was kind of funny. I, like I wasn't doing anything else that night. I was going to have just a boring night kind of sitting in the chair and not doing anything and just listening to other people's conversations and not really being a part of anything. I was just going to sit in a chair by myself and just kind of be there and not exist really as like the center of attention. And that was fine. And I was just going to listen to other people's conversations. And so that happening was kind of just, it was really funny and it made my night. And I was like, well, my energy's back. <laughs> My energy was back, and they literally did that, like, the entire night. Like, oh, the YM, and, like, it was funny that they didn't shut up about it, and I say that in a way where it's entirely not supposed to be, like, I wish you would shut up. It's not that. When I say the word shut up, it's, like, it became such a fucking meme that, like, they were hyper aware of it, and so they started playing into it more as a joke, so they kept doing it, but, like, part of it was, like, real to them, and then they kind of hid that as a joke of like, it was so bizarre. It was like, I'd never had an interaction like that. And it was a small group of like, again, like seven or eight people or something. 